Hello guys and welcome back to GT Retro World. Well just a little short one today. A couple of months back I found my old Harrier CB power supply from when I was a kid. Um, well this operating instructions was actually in that power supply if you remember rightly. Um, obviously I've still got that but this is just a bit of a follow up really. The power supply is actually gone, it's gone to one of the, somewhere on my YouTube channel to be honest. I wasn't going to get rid of it but he he really wanted it for his collection, so I, I actually I let it go, so never mind, I've got plenty of other stuff. But anyway, lo and behold, I was having a sort out over the weekend, and look what I found. My old Harrier CB swire meter, which actually is part of this instructions, obviously. And it's the Harrier CB SWR4 meter. Again, it's from that same... Uh, period I would have thought pff, 82 ish 83 84 I'm not I can't remember I just can't remember to be honest but anyway here it is I, it's a bit of a weird one really because it was in a box with all junk from like cassettes and stuff when I was a kid and I, I, put, I presumed it had gone missing years ago but um, yeah there it is look <laughs> unbelievable yeah the SWR4 meter and that I bought myself all of them, all those years ago from uh, Dixon's. I haven't tried it yet, so we'll give it a quick go. Um, it's just a basically an SWR meter, no power or anything like that. So it's, you know, it's actually built quite well. But you didn't really need to use these much then, did you really? Or you just were a bit careless anyway. You, If you put an antenna up, you checked it once and that was it. You just go on and enjoyed your life, didn't you really? Uh, these days we're a bit more critical, aren't we? But um, when you're a kid, you just want to get on doing you and enjoy yourself. Anyway, let's give it a little go, see if it still works. Eh? So transmitter, throw you straight in there. I'm using the FTDX10. I've got it down to 10 watts, but I've just noticed in the manual there are the, the operating instructions for this SWR meter. It'll take 100 watts, which is actually pretty incredible, really. Anyway, let's give it a go. Eh? Let's turn that down a bit, power's down, away from anywhere. Have a little look. Yeah, chucking it down one to five there. That's not bad. That's on the beam actually, on that uh, three element beam. On 10 meters so yeah as you can see we have set this up I've set it up between 10 and 11 meter band so it's a bit of a compromise to be honest that antenna but yeah as you can see this is working fine 100% um, I just noticed the instructions there um, another thing as well it actually frequency range is obviously it's 1.7 to 30 megahertz 100 watts at 27 megahertz in fact I'll just a little quick brief look at this uh, Operating instructions. If you need to zoom in on that, just zoom in. That's all it is, really. I think I see, you might have seen it in the last one, but uh, yeah, unbelievable. Works fine there. Another bit of a surprise as well when I found this was this. <laughs> yeah. Now, this here, you're going to have to wait for this, guys. I tell you what, I'm going to give you a little sneak preview, but that's all you're getting. Right. I'm just going to show you where the Harry stuff is. But this, I'll get this out before Christmas and you can have a butcher's end, but there's a little bit of your Harrier stuff there, look, where the CBX was. There you go, look. Harvard 40 channel, WT2 or the H410, which is the one I've got, 39.99, which I had to take back, my add, because it, um, the outputs went on it and it was repaired and given back to me and I've still got it, obviously you've seen that, I think. Yeah, you have anyway, I know you have. But uh, yeah, there you go, guys. Crazy, yeah? <laughs> right. That's it. That's all I wanted to do. And if you hang fire on the channel, you're going to be seeing this. And we'll go page by page through this before Christmas. We'll have a look through it. Eh? <laughs> so there you go. What to look forward to. Yeah, can't believe finding this. Unbelievable. You know, I mean, these are little things, isn't it? You find something like this and you think, wow, this little catalogue or brochure, whatever you want to call it, it's just... Oh no, you're not saying anymore, that's all you're saying anyway guys. Right, on that note, nice little find, over the moon, you know, brings back so many memories, all this stuff. Especially this, I mean look at it, it's even wrinkled, it's flat, it's alright, but it's wrinkled, you know what I mean? Because you looked at these things, didn't you, these 
these uh, catalogues and brochures and whatnot until you were blue in the face because you couldn't afford half of the stuff in them anyway could you but anyway keep a look out for the future guys on that uh, Dixon's best ever Christmas deal for you uh, brochure and we'll go through there before Christmas bit of a Christmas present for you so hang in there catch you later guys thanks for viewing the channel